Well, just days after threatening war with Canada, Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte has issued another threat over trash that was illegally shipped to the country nearly six years ago. Duterte now says if Ottawa doesn't take back the trash, it will dump them on Canada's beautiful beaches. CTV's Angie Seth has more this morning on that for us. Angie. Yes, that's right, Mercy. A lot of tension brewing here with regards to the garbage. The Philippines saying Canada must take back. He's saying there Duterte raising the issue at the opening ceremony of a sporting event Sunday night. He said Canada should not treat his country like a dump site, vowing to ship the garbage back himself next week if no action is taking. And a coalition of environmental groups have been pressuring Canada as well to take back the trash for years. Here's footage of a protest that was held near the Canadian Embassy in the Philippines earlier today. A group called Eco Waste or Eco Waste Coalition is demanding the immediate re-export, if you will, of the waste. They're also saying that Canada is in violation of the Basel Agreement. And Marcia, this is a 30-year-old treaty that prevents countries from shipping hazardous waste to the developing world without consent. Okay, so this garbage has been sitting at a port near the country's capital for six years. How did this happen and why is this an issue now? Yeah, well, I mean, as you say, it's been there for six years. You can just imagine the odor a lot of complaints about that, let alone the garbage and the tons of piles of waste that has just been sitting there. So this dates back to 2013 and 2014. That's when over 100 containers, around 103 containers of household trash that included plastic bottles, bags, newspapers, also included diapers, um, CDs, etc., were shipped in batches from Canada to the Philippines. Now, officials say the shipments of waste were misdeclared by a private firm called Chiron Inc. as recyclable plastic scraps. The company is denying they've done any wrongdoing. In 2016, a Filipino court ordered Canada to take the trash back. That, of course, has not happened. And with the frustrations now running high, just last week, Duterte threatened war over the issue, saying, quote, we'll fight with Canada and we'll take them down. Take a listen. We'll declare war against them. I will advise Canada that your garbage is uh, on, the way. On, uh, on, on the way. Prepare a grand reception. <laughs> Eat it if you want to. So according to local reports, the spokesperson for Duterte is downplaying those comments, saying it was just an expression of outrage, a figure of speech, if you will. Last Wednesday, Environment Canada, Environment Minister, rather, Catherine McKenna's office said Canada is, quote, strongly committed to collaborating with the Philippines government to resolve this issue. But a solution has really been on the agenda for years. In 2015, at a political summit, this just being just after Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was sworn in, he was confronted about the garbage. He promised to look into the issue. And then that commitment was made again in 2017. Uh, the only action, however, on that, Marcia, was a year later. Both officials from both uh, the Filipino officials and Canadian officials met in Manila. But there's been no further progress on that since then. And so far, no comment from Canada on this today. Okay, Angie, thank you for that. You're welcome.